Hi, Leonard and Adelaide here at the property on 18th Street in uh, Awatuki. Give you a quick uh, rundown of the outside of the house. Three car garage. It sits up on a corner lot. They're putting the signpost in now, so that's that noise. Um, nice wide streets. You got mountain views to the left of you here. So there's some paths and stuff. And then you got uh, the properties across the street from you as well. And then across the street is actually uh, the other corner lot for the other property. So really only have one neighbor to the north of you on this particular property. So going to walk you up the driveway here. Very low maintenance front yard. It's got a mesquite tree in the front, some cacti and some easy maintenance bushes. It's got a little gate on the side here. have a little fountain here and then obviously since they're up on a hill there's a little storm drain portion there for you as well nice beautiful entrance double door uh, this property is 3,263 square feet it was built in 1990 and it does obviously have a pool okay as we enter into the property there's a little foyer here with some pillars right as you walk in. Has a nice little Tuscan feel to it. Okay, does have some travertine with some uh, designs here, design pattern on the floor. And then right to your left is gonna be your formal dining room. Does have some shutters that go out to the front yard. And then to the right is that sunken living room that we talked about. Conversation room, it's got tall vaulted ceilings. As we keep walking straight back, we're gonna run into uh, the, the main living area that's attached to the kitchen and such. Uh, travertine throughout here, wood burning fireplace. That is not a built-in um, entertainment center. It is detached, so it will not be going. Uh, they have a wet bar here. Okay, little eat-in kitchen area. And then a pretty large kitchen with an island in the middle. That's your cooktop there. Looks like it's an electric cooktop. Um, there is a salad washing sink here next to your ovens or coffee or whatever you wanna do with it. So another sink, your microwave and your oven. You got your pantry. Good size pantry. These are granite countertops. You got your sink that overlooks your backyard and it does have a little bar area here if you wanted to have somebody sit next to you here at the sink. Um, I'm gonna head around to this side of the kitchen because these hallways go all the way back through so we're gonna circle back around. So here's one of the bedrooms. They have a kind of like an art studio type situation. This is, um, like a vinyl flooring that's in here that has a wood look to it. You got the closet in here. Okay, as we head back around to the right, we got bathroom, one sink, one toilet, tub shower that is travertine. It's very nice. This is a four bedroom, three bath uh, with a den of some sorts. So it's bedroom number two. It's got carpet in here. It's a decent sized bedroom. Pretty good size. It's got the closet there. I would say this is probably uh, a 12 by 15 or so. Nice tall ceilings. Okay, as we keep coming this way, we're gonna head into the office. And it does have a closet. So this is officially a bedroom. However, they have it set up as an office. This is also a vinyl type flooring in here with the wood look. Travertine through here. Coat closet. You got bathroom number two. So this is off the hallway. That's the main area there. So this is kind of more of a guest bathroom for when you're entertaining. Um, you got the vanity here, you got 
the shower. Uh, this is travertine as well. Toilet. Across from here is your laundry room. Got some shelves, some built-in shelvings, sink. Refrigerator. You got your three car garage in here. They got it set up with a little uh, workshop table over here and some cabinetry. They both have uh, door openers on them. So one for the single car, one for the, the two car. It does have a water softening system here. Um, it looks like they have access to the, to the backyard from there as well, but they have it blocked off for some reason. Not sure exactly why. And then it looks like they actually um, put the water heater in the closet here. Yep, so it has a recirculation pump on it. It is an electric water heater, so there may not be any gas at this property whatsoever. Um, it does look like it's a relatively newer unit, so it has been replaced most likely within the last two to three years, it looks like, based on some of the piping and such. They did coat the, uh, the floor with some epoxy. It looks pretty heavy duty, but it also looks like it uh, has been roughed up a little bit. A little bit of a settling crack here. Um, and another one over here. Typically the garage is not part of the foundation though, so that's just that's just normal uh, wear and tear for the most part. And, you know, obviously if it's a concern, we can get it inspected if you do like the house enough to write an offer. So, all right, we're gonna head back through the main area. So if I head left here, that's back into the kitchen. So we circled around the whole house there. And then obviously right is gonna be your main dining uh, area. So we'll head to the other side of the house where the owner suite is located. You got um, some storage here. So some linen in there. And then as you walk into the owner suite, it is a pretty large living space as you might be able to tell. Uh, the bed, that's most likely a king size bed there. You got some large furniture, but there is ample room throughout this room. And then you have access out to the back patio, which we will go take a tour of in just a moment. I'm gonna walk you through the bathroom real quick here in the owner's suite. So the shower is right here, a glass shower, right as you walk into the door of the owner's suite. You got the, the tub here, all travertine in here. You got the dual vanities. They have a TV set up in here as well. But you got your dual vanities and you got your makeup counter. Okay, and then you have your water closet. And then you have a walk-in closet here as well. No attic access in here, this is a vault. So nothing in the master closet. There is an attic access here in the bathroom though, um, for the attic into here from the master bath. This is in the water closet. Okay, we will um, wrap around, go outside. I don't know where else they could put the attic access at this point because the house is mostly vaulted. Um, there is another one. Most likely in the garage. We'll go check that out real quick. I, I forgot to look on my apologies. So actually no attic access in the garage as well. Um, so that's the only one that I saw so far. Oh, there it is, it's in the laundry room. So one in the laundry room, one in the master water closet. Okay, let's go take a look outside. There are several entry points to the backyard. There's one on this side of the kitchen, one on that side of the kitchen, and then obviously off of the owner suite as well. Let's 
So we got this nice covered patio. It's got some satia tile out here that looks like it's been sealed. It's got a little sheen to it. It looks really nice. Very clean. The patio runs the length of the entire house. And you got, uh, you know, these pillars that are really nice that make it a lot more decorative. They do have a grill underneath here, but they also have a built-in grill over here as well. So as you can see, you got some pretty awesome mountain views right to the left of you here. It uh, seems further away in the, in the picture, but in person, it looks like you're uh, right at the base of the mountain. So they got some nice grass areas. They got some retaining walls here with some, some vegetation that really helps, uh, you know, give it some greenery and create some privacy for you as well. Got a nice little garden here with some plants, some succulents. Steps up to a fire pit. It's a wood burning with some ample seating around it. And then you're up on this deck above the pool. Uh, it does have some water features that pour out of here. This is a play pool, so three feet on each side, five feet in the middle, roughly. Okay. Got your pool equipment. Tucked around this wall that's over here. Very simple pool equipment setup. You got the filter, which looks like to be a sand filter. And then you got uh, your backwash valve there. And you have a, a, just a single speed pump um, in here. It looks like they wrapped the whole piping with some aluminum to reflect the light so it doesn't decay. Uh, this is the owner suite side of the house. So there is an AC unit on this side of the house. They have a Malibu lighting uh, set up, so most likely throughout the backyard here they in the front yard, they probably have some uh, some landscape lighting set up that comes on a particular time. Um, this AC unit is actually all the way up front here, right next to where the closet would be. So it's pretty far away from where your, uh, where your head would be resting. So this is the bathroom. The bedroom, the bed is right between these two windows. And so the AC unit is pretty far away, but still is on this side of the house. I'm gonna walk you to the other side of the backyard, take a look there, and then we will uh, get out of here. The backyard is gorgeous. A lot of greenery. Okay, so this other side of the house, take the walkway down, it's got plants on either side. It's, it's actually rather, uh, rather pretty. They stuccoed and painted the walls as well. And then you have the other AC unit on this side of the home. Which these look like they're several years old. They are trains, trains do tend to run a little bit longer, but they do absolutely, uh, you know, look like they're a little bit older. So there's your gate. They keep your trash cans back here. You know, obviously you're your garage, entrance to your garage. The reason there's no attic access into the garage is because there's actually no attic above the garage. That's all just built in. Uh, it's built all the way up to the top of the garage there. So it's almost like it's separate from the house. So uh, very beautiful home. I'll get this sent over to you and I'll talk to you later.